My name is Suhil Nzohiya. I'm the current deputy president of the SRC 2023. Uh, come from a small village called Bizana. I'm 23 years of age and I'm doing management practice, advanced diploma in management practice at Second Avenue. I got into student politics at my first year because one, I, I, I know the challenges that are currently being faced by people who are coming from the poor and are working background, uh, from the poor and the working class, because I'm one in person, I'm part and parcel of them. So I took a political stance for you. I took a political consciousness of ensuring that I'm going to be able to do the same thing to those that are coming before me, of ensuring that we are going to be creating access for them, provide quality and free education. Being a deputy president, what becomes challenging is that one must understand that when you're an SLC member, the simplest task, your, your task is very simple, is to, uh, is to represent the issues of students. Students, uh, 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 students they mandate you, a uh, student mandate you, you take their mandate into, in, into management and represent their own interests. What becomes challenging is the time frame of ensuring that there's implementation of those mandates, because one, students may want things to be resolved immediately, but some things may take constraints and also some time before there is, the, 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 there is implementation and also issues of communications of, 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 of between the SRCs and, and the students. Uh, the, the outreach program that was facilitated by the SRC, one of the most common ones is, is the Siangela program. The Siangela program is a program whereby the SRC goes into the Eastern Cape community, especially those in rural areas, because we understand the challenges that are faced by people from rural areas that they do not have access uh, to proper access to connectivity and also they lack knowledge. They don't know how to apply, especially using the online system. What the SRC does is that we go into these you know, local high schools and also provincial high schools to ensure that we are going to able to create access for them, have them apply not only for 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 for, for SMA University but also apply for funding uh, funding options that are out there. Also, donations that have been made is the one that we have been donating sanitary pads and also cosmetics to the local community of ensuring that one gets the basic like basic needs of ensuring that they are going to be taking care of themselves and they are going to be hygienic. Youth Month, what it means to us, we must be able to have Youth Month, whenever we are coming to Youth Month, what is needed for us is to ensure that the necessary things that are demanded by young people need to be outlined and also need to be taken care of. For example, when they're coming to Youth Month, must be having programs, not having rallies, but having programs they could speak about issues that are currently faced by young people. For example, young people are facing issues of education, of, of quality of education, and also access to quality of education. Young people are facing issues of necessary skills that is needed by the market. Young people are facing issues of employment. When coming to Youth man, we cannot just be celebrating the vibrance of young people and honoring the generation of 1956. We must be able to take care of the needs that are currently, we must be able to take care of the needs that are currently needed by, by, by young people of employment and ensuring that they get proper medical care and they're also involved into the economic market. The youth should take one stance, which is very much simple. The youth must come into one and start a revolution of their own. A revolution that is going to be able to take care of their needs, a revolution that is going to be able to answer the issues of unemployment. For one, they must take a similar approach of this must fall. This must fall students took an initiative of saying that we cannot afford this education because we are people of, 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 of domestic workers, we are people of, of people who are people who cannot afford the skyrocketing fees. What young people need to do is also take a revolution of their own. Of ensuring that their needs are going to be taken care of, their needs is going to be answered by the government. Thank you.